the War Room. It's America's Morning Show with Quinn and Rose. I want you to think about something, okay? Look, uh, if, if you were in industry and you were making a product and your competitor suddenly came out with a product that was so much better than yours, what would be the first question you would ask? How did he do it? I want to see the blueprint. I'm going to hire industrial spies. Whatever it takes, I'm going to find out what my competitor is up to. I want to see the blueprint. I want to see the plans. I want to see how he did it. Now, the United States of America went from worst to first in 300 years. You would think the rest of the world would be looking at us and saying, good grief, how did they do it? We should do that too. But they haven't, have they? Have you noticed that other countries don't adopt our Constitution? Have you noticed that our diplomats never go to other countries and suggest that they follow our model? See, the reason is that the Constitution is a radical document. It, more than anything that's ever been written and put into place, has limited the power of those who believe that it is their job or that they were born somehow to rule over everybody else. And a point that I've often made on this show is the only reason that we have the Constitution that we have is because there was no government here to oppose it when it was implemented. There were governments everywhere else on, on the planet Earth, and they would all oppose it. What do, what do you think the source is of all the communist propaganda about America is imperialist and capitalism is oppressive and it exploits the working classes and all that stuff? Where do you think that comes from? What do you think that is? That's a defense against the Constitution. That's a way to tell people, don't worry about that Constitution thing. That's just a fraud. That's not how they got to be number one. No, it wasn't the Constitution. It was their exploitation. It was, uh, yeah, they exploited the working class. Uh, they, uh, they kept minorities down. They did anything to distract the rest of the world from looking at our Constitution and saying, hey, no, that's not a bad idea. Let's try that. Look, the only reason that we have this Constitution is because there was no government here to oppose it. What we are doing right now, and it's been going on for a long time. I mean, it's probably been going on since be before the ink was dry. I'm sure there was a couple of guys walking out of Constitution Hall after they signed it. Some guy was grumbling, and the guy next to him said, don't worry about it. We'll fix it later. I mean, people have been trying to get around the Constitution. I mean, that's... Folks, I mean, uh, wh what do you think political science is? <laughs> it's a... Yeah, it's, a, it's an academic pursuit trying to figure out ways around the Constitution. Look, by allowing ourselves to drift from the Constitution. Now, here's the President of the United States yesterday telling us what kind of car we're going to drive. Telling the automobile industry what kind of car they're going to build. The President. Where the hell in the Constitution does it say the executive branch of the government that that's their job? It's not. By allowing ourselves to... to allow government to color outside the lines of the Constitution, what we have done is we have created the bureaucracy that would have opposed the Constitution had it been in place in this country when the Founding Fathers proposed it. We've created our own enemy. And frankly, I'm not sure how to undo it. But that's what we've done, and right now we are stitching in the final stitches on this matrix, and it's not good.